I knew him well. And he had a... Some kind of animal, I think. Possibly it was a humorously shaped vegetable. And it showed us the, the, possibly a parsnip or a cucumber. <laughs> I don't know. I can't remember the words. They were really, really... No, I can't remember that either. What is that word for something that's clever and short? Damn, it's, it's, it's like what you make helmets out of. <laughs> nah, not tin. I can't say that the phrase of mine was tinny. Ironic, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pithy. That's the word. The thong was really pithy. <laughs> I don't know which thong. What are you going on about songs for? Hey, okay. what was that? Over there, in the donkey cart park. <laughs> no, it was something. Let's go and see. <laughs> no, it's not dangerous. It's the start of the game. They can't kill us off yet. Come on, trust me. <laughs> All I'm gonna do is look. Well, this is a pretty poor job. I think I can dismantle it. Nearly a catastrophe. <laughs> Don't sweat it, pal. We've got nine minutes and seven seconds left. You know what we could do? We could drive this thing out of here. <laughs> oh, damn. No donkey. Oh, you could pull it. <laughs> yeah, you're right, you're right. Looks like we're going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. <laughs> Uh, couldn't be simpler. I'm thinking we should turn the green flask. What do you think? Maybe the red? Let's turn the green flask then. Uh, just a hunch. Remember the time in the high energy facility when I turned the yellow flask and blew everything up? Right, so I'm turning the red flask then. What? Did I say green? Well, I meant red. Look, we can do it your way if you... Look, I'm sure, OK? You ready? Aren't you going to miss all this stuff when they stop making these games? Aren't you just going to miss it all? I'm turning the flask. There, you see? Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Grab the cat, gangway! Take cover! Oops. Mm -hmm. Oh, the animation budget's increased at least. <laughs> well, of course that's a good thing. It means they haven't spent as much on plot, doesn't it? They've probably halved the number of insane object puzzles for a start. <clears throat> Sorry, I mean clever, natural thinking exercises, of course. Mm -hmm. Trust me, I've been through this sort of thing before. There's a place you're always welcome That's as nice as it can be Everyone can get in Cause it's absolutely free That's death No need to take a breath Just lie around all day With not a single bill to pay Hooray that's death No more sicknesses or flu If you've lived beyond your means You can die beyond them too Boo hoo Well, the greatest and the finest mm, Have already died Why not simply join them On the other side That's death 
Say farewell to all your bills Rip up all your wills And pop your final pills Amen, that's death It's a tater-tate with pain If you're not feeling great Then it's the best way to lose weight Mate Nothing here to hurt you No one's here to nag Come die with me If your life's a drag That's death For wealthy and well-bred All of them are here Millions who died No one came back to complain You can't take it with you You can't keep what you've got So why not just lie back And simply rot Gentlemen and fellow wizards. Here's looking at your bottom. Up your eye. Huh. Pull the other one. It's got strange knobbly bits on. Happy Hogs Watch Day. Thank you. Uh, uh, colleagues. We are gathered here today for the final departure party of our dear, soon-to-be-departed comrade, the wizard, Windle Poons! Hooray! Good old Windle! Don't forget to ghost right! Three? Three. Two, one, zero! What? Nothing. That's it, I hope. Right, everybody, our funeral at 2.30, then drinks and ham rolls in the main hall at 3. <laughs> Oh, what's happening? Call this service, do you? I'm dead, I am! I demand to be taken away to a better life, as per contract. Oi, things were different in my day. You died properly, not like the deaths you get nowadays. Uh, he, 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 he says he's not dead. I am dead! But I'm still bloody ambulatory! No, you're not. You're fooling no one but yourself, you know. Hmm, well, he, he looks dead. Smells dead, of course. He always did, though. And I suppose my word doesn't count for anything around here. I can't be dead if I'm still talking, now can I? Look, old chap, it's our considered professional view that you are an extinct wizard. Your opinion doesn't count because you're dead. Oh, yeah, good point. Well, I suppose I'll just sit here then, shall I? I suppose it takes a while. So, um, 
how is death, um, actually? See any, um, white lights, you know, tunnels, girls with harps? Oh, yes, please. I'll take two. No? Uh, if this is heaven, I wish I'd done wicked things when I was alive. What's happening to me? Uh, well, it, it seems that your body's dead, but your soul's still in... Well, in residence. Well, I'm not hanging about here for the rest of my afterlife. I've had a hard life, Arts Chancellor. I'm entitled to a bit of paradise. I've read about it. Young women and wine and whatnot. Look, your life's over. You're not supposed to moan about it. And definitely not supposed to contemplate any... any... Uh, what not? Uh, who's responsible for this? Where's death, then? This is outrageous. You, you, you can't have a soul hanging about a deceased body like that. Why not? It's unhygienic. Yeah. There's, there's food laid out. We can't have him near the nibbles. The health inspectors will be on to us. Yes, yes, good point. Now compose yourself, Windle. You can't decompose here. I shall have to ask you to move along. Oh, comes to something when a man can't even drop stone dead in peace. Eternal rest, eternal rest, is it? Would I not to take this lying down? I'm off to find myself a nice shallow grave. There's been too much of this sort of thing lately. Rincewind? Rincewind! <sighs> ah, Rincewind. There you are. Now, as you're aware, there have been some very odd goings on in this city of late. I am referring, of course, to the sudden disappearance of death. What? No one's dying? Oh, they're dying, but their souls aren't being taken away. They're dead and alive at the same time, and now it's happened to poor Windle. Death's gone, and we need to summon him back. So, uh, here you go. We need to perform the rites of Ashkent. I suppose you have a list of mysterious ingredients that I now have to run off and collect. What? How did you know that? I just had a dreadful suspicion. Alright, so what have we got to find? Well, it's a rush job, so just the bare minimums will do. We need three equal-sized sticks of wood and four cc's of mouse's blood. It shouldn't take you more than a few minutes. Bet anyone? Um... What is it now? Let's just say that, uh, we needed more than the bare minimums. And not to say that I'm questioning your judgment. I'm just, uh, planning for the future, is all. Well, the rest is all just flash and style. This is a death rite, after all. You know the routines. A bit of sparkle and glitter in the air, vile Charles stench erupting from the tomb, and lovely dribbly candles. That sort of thing. None of which we'll need at all. 
That's right. Just the wood and the mouse's blood. There never seems to be any way of getting a decent moment's rest around this place. Act One. The right stuff. wandering shop. No one knows why, but all the most truly mysterious and magical items are brought from shops that appear and, after a trading life even briefer than a double glazing company's, vanish like smoke. They can turn up wherever there's a suitable stretch of blank wall, but once there, they have always been there. Dust and grime and a general worn look instantly dispel any doubts in the minds of people who may have walked down that same street every day for a year without noticing it. There are three general theories to explain the phenomenon of wandering shops. One, many thousands of years ago there evolved somewhere in the multiverse a race whose single talent was to buy cheap and sell dear. Two, they are the creation of a sympathetic fate, charged with the role of supplying exactly the right thing at the right time. Three, they are simply a very clever way of getting around the various Sunday closing acts. All these theories have two things in common. They explain the known facts and they are completely and utterly wrong. Hey there, Your Highness. And aren't you a pretty little girl? I'm not a little girl. I'm a powerful and dignified magician. Why are you dressed up as a princess, then? I most certainly am not. You've got a tall, pointy hat. All princesses have tall, pointy hats. Look, it's not... And a dress. A tall, pointy hat and a dress. That's a princess in my book. So how do you explain the beard then, eh? Eh? I thought that was just probably your peasant blood, dear. A lot of men find a bit of hair sultry and attractive. I wish a lot of women did. I can't really see that this shop serves any valid social purpose at all. It all seems like a total waste of resources. Well, that's nice coming from a princess. Look, for the last time, I am not a princess. Okay, Your Highness. Look, all joking apart, what are you selling? Well, Your Highness, this here is an adventure shop. It has all the marvellous things people need when they decide that their main calling in life is to find a hole in the ground, collect some friends, and then go delving into the underground, armed only with swords, rope, ten-foot poles, halberds, six torches, and a flask of oil. Good gracious! And is there actually much of a demand for this? No. 
It's all collectible trading cards these days. Dimwick, the smothering. It's taken all the fun out of the business. I can't even shift magic items anymore. Magic items? What, elven cloaks, magic swords, boots of speed, that kind of thing? That's the stuff. We don't really stock the boots anymore, though. We did have boots of domination, but a female barbarian already bought up those. Anyway, do have a browse, Your Highness, and let me know if there's anything you want. Well, that's it for now. Just what I've always wanted. I don't suppose I can have it then. Why not? It's yours. You only had to ask. No, nope, can't reach them. I better ask her first, anyway. Candles? You do candles? Yes, Your Royal Highness. I make them by hand. Well, I would make them by hand, but everyone just uses continual light spells these days. I don't really stock candles anymore. Those are just display models made out of plaster. But you could make me some if you had the chance. Oh yes, love. I just need you to bring me the raw materials. Now your grade A candle, that's made from dead whales. We used to use their nasal hairs, but these days a true pure white candle is made from spermaceti. Where does that come from? I never dared ask, love. Anyway, the next best thing is beeswax. Beeswax, right! We used to have a lovely bee milking parlour out the back. The bees insisted it was the only way to get the job done. Every evening, we'd round up the bees and settle them down in little chairs, give them all a newspaper and let them wax away to their heart's content. Then someone pointed out that all we had to do was open up the hive and scoop out all the wax we want. The little buzzers had been having us on all along. You just can't trust a bee, can you? That's just what I always say, Your Royal Highness. Oh, stop it. Well, that's enough of this conversation for me. <laughs> that looks nice. Can I have it then? Certainly. No mumbo-jumbo. No sudden insistence that I go on a special quest or anything. What? Me? Order a princess about? Whatever are you thinking? Certainly not. It's not for sale. I think you might be confusing me with someone who actually wants to exert themselves.
great gods, you two again! No, oh, chucky, chucky, chucky! But you're dead! You quit life stage! You're resting! Chucky wants to be the ghost of old York's past! Being dead is grand! Look, we even get flowers! Oh, Chucky, Chucky, Chucky! Now look! Knock, knock! Who's there? Cohen! Cohen who? Cohen, answer the door! No, oh, Chucky, 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 Chucky! Why is it everyone else toddles off to heaven or hell, and you two get to hang around here? Chucky, 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 chuck, chuck, chuck. I'm stuck, 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 stucky. You can't leave. I mean, you're dead, but not gone before. You're haunting. No, death hasn't come for us yet. Left us floating here, he did. Chucky can't leave the guild all stones and mortar. Not even for Sures. Sures? What's yours? Oh, a pint of lager and roast boar crisp, thanks. Oh, Chucky, 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 Chucky. You're right. You are the ghost of old jokes. <sighs> no. If we had to have a character from the past, what happened to that nice Amazon lady? Maybe I can throw his haunted rocks into the middle of a sewer or something. Let's see him laugh that one off. Goodbye for now! Pork Futures Probably no other world in the multiverse has warehouses for things which only exist in Potentia. Here, however, the Pork Futures warehouse is a product of the patricians' rules about baseless metaphors, the literal mindedness of citizens who assume that everything must exist somewhere and the general thinness of reality around Ankh. The net result is that trading in Pork Futures in pork that doesn't exist yet, led to the building of the warehouse to store it until it does. The extremely low temperatures are caused by the imbalance in the temporal energy flow. Well, I doubt whether I can move it by hand. There's nothing in them. No, can't move it. Let's just leave him alone. I don't think I can reach him. Hmm. I wonder if it's about time my luggage had a bath.
Oh, it's stuck inside the net. You ham You know, I doubt that I can just push the wall down. Popcorn! Popcorn! Do it yourself, popcorn! Just add heat! And butter! And maybe a frying pan! Also serves as catapult ammunition! Or excellent fishing sinkers! Come and get it while it's still in stock! Only one previous owner! Or I'm letting it go for less than mark price, and that's cutting me own throat. Popcorn! Is this all your life has to offer? I thought you might have, well, you know, improved yourself. Reached for higher goals. I'm reaching, Gav, I'm reaching! Matter of fact, I'm going into clickies. Clickies? Just what Ank Morpork needed, eh? Exactly! Yeah, for you, irony means sort of like iron, doesn't it? <sighs> so we're into clickies now, are we? At last, the monkey has found the banana plantation. Yep, moving pictures. Here, have a read of this. Clickies. Oh, now there's romance for you. Hot dogs, popcorn, drink stands. The merry rumble of candy rolling down the aisles. And the shows. Don't forget the actual clickies themselves. What? Oh! Oh yeah, I mean the shows go without saying. Chocolate dipped ice cream, novelty drinking cups, collectible lobby cards. I don't believe this. You mean to tell me that art has to take a second place to cheap licensing and marketing? Well, I can tell you that I'm above that sort of thing. Catch me being involved in some damn licensing scam? Ha! <laughs> Fat chance. The last thing I'd ever do is allow myself to become involved in a shabby marketing ploy designed to use a famous name to sell a product which is in itself utterly devoid of any real... Mm... Right. Well, good luck with the career and I'll be off. Uh, did we mention the range of pewter figurines and exciting t-shirts this time? Shh. Popcorn! Boo boo be do. 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 Oh, no, I just don't think this is working, um... By the great beard of someone unusually well bearded. What happened to you? I thought you were a milkmaid. I was a dairy product distribution agent, thank you. All that's behind me now. 
time at Caspian. I'm sorry. An actress. A star of stage and screen. I'm starring in a new clicky called Trolls Prefer Blondes. Oh. Why do trolls prefer blondes? Well, apparently I'm a... a, a damn. What's that word for generic pop idol? An icon? No! Icons grow on trees. Those are acorns. Really? I'm sure it wasn't acorns. Oh well then. Maybe it was coconuts or melons then. I'm sure I heard it mentioned somewhere. I think I'm beginning to get the idea. Anyway, now I'm a famous pop coconut. It's ever so exciting. So you're a clicky star now? Yeah, they ex so off a oh. What a lovely dress. Very, very glittery, wouldn't you say? Not that I'm hinting about clues or anything. Glitter is what all this clicky business is about. Cool. Yet another empty headed character. Nice glittery dress, though. See you later. Popcorn! I can't just steal a bunch of pixels, you know. Anyway, at this resolution, they're just too heavy. Oh, hello. And what in the world are you? Yes, yes. Well, I didn't understand a word of that at all. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> Barkeeper, I'll have a pint of Winkle's extra flatulent, my good man. Uh, uh, uh? Down here! Oi! I said I'll have... Uh... Oi! Come back here! Uh, don't you know who I am? I am Kasenanda, the second greatest lover who ever lived, and the ladder salesman extraordinaire. Come back! And you are... I am Kassenanda. Ladder salesman and lover extraordinaire. I don't know if there's anything particularly ordinary about that. Oh, how we danced. How we danced through the night. We danced... And we danced till our socks were alive. <laughs> so you're the world's greatest lover, are you? Uh, second greatest, really. But the way I look at it, if people think you're number two, then they know you try harder. <laughs> So, what does the world's second greatest lover do with his time? Oh, I'm always looking for fresh challenges, sir. I look at it as my duty to bring a romance and step ladders into the lives of beautiful women everywhere. 
this ladder of yours? Ah, the finest ladder in all of the disc. The old equalizer, you might say. It allows the lover of a reduced altitude the opportunity to kiss his lady on the cheek instead of on the... That's... that's quite enough of that. Now look, I need a ladder. Can you get me one? Oh, no, no, I only have one. And I need it for my uh, romantic adventures. Introduce me to a beautiful woman, closer to the ground. A wild woman, a fair and beauteous flower. <laughs> and the ladder shall be yours. I hope it comes washing wear. Find some woman comatose enough to listen to that lot without screaming. That's a laugh for a start. See you later! My money pouch, overflowing with a well when I say over and vast wealth is and when I say gold, more gold-ish than gold, I guess. Oh alright. I have a few copper coins. Are you satisfied now? Be lady. And who might you be? Uh, uh, who? You, I'm asking you what your name is. Who are you? I'm fine, thank you. Amazing, isn't it? In any other city, you'd be mayor by now. Just tell me what alcohol you have to drink. And by that, I mean something which neither eats through the glass bottle, serves as host to a colony of sentient protozoa, or ends me up in any obscure, farcical little problems with chaos theory and butterflies. Yeah, oh, uh, that's all we've got. Protozoa. They're only little protozoa. Ciliate or non-ciliate? Uh, I, I think they're mostly rotifers. Brilliant. He can't tie his shoes, but he can classify microorganisms. There's one for the education system. All right. Give me one very alcoholic drink, complete with sentient rotifers. You want? I should make it look pretty with a couple of little amoebas on a stick. All right. Whatever. <sighs> and they say the art of cocktail mixing is long dead. Oh, oh buggery. <laughs> Millennium hand and shrimp. The buns, the buns. All over the... <laughs> Young spiders. Spiders. Uh, I told them, put that in your trumpet. Millennium hand and shrimp. Blow that for a game of trousers. Was there something you wanted? Look, um... Talking. <laughs> I'm good at that. Most of the time I, I talk to Spare myself. Because it's sir. nice to hear Spare an intelligent piece. person speak. Millennium and and shrimp. You can blow that out of your teapot and no mistake. I'm as sane as the next man. Listen. I just hope I never meet the next man. But I probably will. Look, 
Um, you're a busy man, I can see that. <laughs> right, I've really got behind on me mumbling and shouting out loud quote of the day. <laughs> I see the local care in the community scheme is hard at work. Millennium and shrimp. Of course, a really caring community would probably have moved him further downwind. Those, those are boots you're cooking, aren't they? Prime belts with uh, with stench attached. They smell like shoes, you know. Gotta have lots of boots to maintain a real fine stink, you know. Get off! There's plenty for everyone. Spiders, spiders, mumble, 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 mumble. Sticking like sticky paper and lying. Millennium hand and shrimp, lying. You know, some might say that this chap lacks a firm grasp upon reality. Yeah, bugger him. Bugger him all. My personal theory is that he has a very firm grasp upon reality. It's simply not a reality the rest of us have ever met before. Spare a gold piece, sir. Spare spiders, a gold piece. Spiders, mumble, 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 mumble. Sticking like sticky millennium. You know, some might say that this chap lacks a firm... Yeah. My person... Oh, that's enough of this conversation for me. Even though his odour seems solid enough, I doubt that I could catch it with my hands. Do you suppose any of this stuff is a use, or is it just background colour? <laughs> Spare a gold piece. Spare a groat for a. Spare a gold piece. <laughs> Spare a ear. Yeah. Damn, forgotten what I was asking now. Oh, please just go away. Here, yeah. give me some money, mate. Just get. <laughs> 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 Sorry, sir. I I didn't <coughs> I didn't realise you were so close. <coughs> he'll 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 probably wash off. <coughs> Do you serve any useful purpose at all? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, mate. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a social figure. I am. I, uh, I get non-invited to all the best functions in the city. I, I, I do. What do you mean, non-invited? Oh, you yeah, know, they, they sends me the address, and uh, they pays me money not to turn up. I can't understand why myself. Oh, oh I'm sorry about that, go. No, oh, no, 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 don't rub it off. It only works it deeper into the cloth. <laughs> I'd probably have more to say, but I'm afraid I keep being distracted by this bloody dreadful smell. Be seeing you then. Spare a gold piece, sir. Spare a gold piece. Spare a gold piece, sir. Spare a gold piece. A whole gold piece? Most people don't earn that in a month. Well, 
The streets are swarming with beggars, sir. So I just thought I'd establish myself in a different niche market. You know, beggar to the upper gentry. Oh, really? So, as I say, sir, any gold pieces to spare? <coughs> Perhaps raw bullion? <coughs> Shares? Futures? That sort of thing? <coughs> oh, oh, stop it. Gold. And go and do something about that duck. What duck? You wouldn't say there's anything in the slightest bit unusual in your appearance at all? No, why? Nothing that, say, when viewed in a mirror might give you pause for thought. What's a mirror, sir? Ah, <laughs> we may in fact have reached the root of the problem. However, it's a silly problem, and so I'm suddenly going to stop talking yeah, to you. Bugger him. Bugger him all. Nah, don't think I really want to handle this one. Correspondence would be welcomed. Let's just stop all this now. We shall overcome, we shall overcome. Overcome what? What was that, fascist? I'm asking just what it is that you want to overcome. Who tied you up like this? I've tied myself here, yeah, me, pig. Now try and repress me out of that. You tied yourself up? It's an act demonstrating freedom, see? Well, it demonstrates my freedom to tie myself to anything I want to, whenever I want to. That's one of your basic human rights, right? And I'll fight to keep a hold of it. You mean you want to fight for the right to lose your freedom? Right on! Don't you want to know what I'm protesting about? I was half hoping to avoid it, but do go on. I'm protesting for the right to have female members of the Fools and Jesters Guild. And I will not be moved. Why are you protesting about it over here in the cemetery? Why don't you go and do it outside the Jesters Guild? They never have anything worth tying yourself to over at that end of town. I like this, though. Quite a nice little steak, if you don't mind my saying so. Not an absolute prime choice, mind, but getting there. Then by all means, be my guest. Excuse me, I, I think it's probably time for me to take my medicine. Somebody's we place shall of rest. overcome. Not we me. We shall
I don't see how that can possibly help. Nah, that doesn't go well with Hooter. A clown's Hooter. Now I can blow my own horn at last. A brochure about do-it-yourself clickies. Ah, oh, a tankard of ale. Well, sort of ale anyway, if you forgive the busy little creatures swimming in it. Oh, look, some of them are waving. A stuffed fish. Well, you'd be stuffed too if you'd had your innards replaced with old wool bits and cotton scraps. A stuffed pink flamingo. Actually, they say flamingos turn pink due to eating pink shrimps. Since shrimps only go pink after they're boiled, but I think the reason for our friend Birdie's demise is starting to become more and more apparent. Four cc's of mouse blood. Ugh. A hand point. Now pay attention. Attention, yes. You said that you have to haunt the stones and mortar of the guild. Guild, yes. Well, is there any reason why you have to stay here? I mean, if the stones are moved, then you can move with them. You could just hop into one of the rocks and I could take you somewhere more interesting. Interesting, yes. Are you listening to me? No! Oh ho ho! Chucky 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 chucky! Just get into the damn stone! Ho ho! Chucky chucky chucky! Mm -hmm. 